Ladies, I hope you're all alright. Um, you'll have to excuse that. Not going to pronounce it. Um, I've just come on to show you um, a project that I've... Um, well, it's got to go in the post today. It's Saturday today. Um, and I should have posted it yesterday, really. But um, I don't suppose a day is going to make any difference. Uh, and what it is, is, as you can see, an altered binder clip project. Now this is for um, the craft hole. And we had to alter three binder clips and they had to be a minimum of uh, two inches, which is what the, these are. Um, I've got them in a set. Let me show you the others that you get from home bargains and you get quite a big pack of them that's the big these are like a big quite big um you can't always tell the size of things on cameras but uh there's a bottle of stickles for example so that's how big they are they're quite big and then you get that size and then you get the little tiny wee ones and you get a pack of i don't know six or eight for 59 piece they're not dear uh and we had to alter them front and back three different ones although two of mine look very similar they're not they're different <laughs> we had to do all three different and they all had to have either two tags or an ATC and a tag now I'm not massively great on ATCs I've only ever really made one and that was for Teresa um, so I've done tags for all mine so this is the first one, um, this was meant to be shabby chic, this one here that looks very similar is vintage, it's not the same, <laughs> this one's shabby chic, um, so I've covered, I covered the binder clip underneath with some paper because they are black metal, now I don't have any alcohol inks or anything like that or anything that will cover over metal, so I've had to cover it with what I've got. Um, so I've covered it with paper to make sure there's no black showing through and then because this is a shabby chic one, <laughs> honestly, it's not vintage, shabby chic, I covered it with a doily, a cotton doily. And then I have decorated the back with these like peach, they're almost like baby's breath type flowers and there's three of them there and they're all just pushed in together. And then I've used some of these lovely acrylic pearlized leaves. Um, that I use quite a bit and I've used just a, a random selection of burgundy cream flowers and then this spray here look maybe looks a bit Christmas oh gosh I've just dropped that one on the floor pick it up in a minute might look a bit Christmassy maybe but I just really liked it and I've I've hoarded it for ages I had it gifted um so these bits um protrude off these like a beaded spray and it's all like Pearlized red and nice green, so maybe it's a bit Christmassy, but I just thought it looked really pretty and I liked it, so I've put it on. Um, and then I made this tag first out of craft cardstock, rounded the edges off. I put some vintage style, no, 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 shabby chic style. <laughs> the other one's vintage, this is shabby chic. Some shabby chic stroke vintage, either way, they're different, it doesn't matter paper over the top uh, which came from this paper pad here which is Rose Garden and then I used one of my vintage images that I've been printing off the computer it's laminated um, so I'm hoping that she stays stuck on because it is it is laminated both sides laminated her put some um, lacy trim round that's why this one's shabby chic and the other one isn't because this one's got lace and pearls so that makes it shabby chic <laughs> and then i've put some flowers on um pearl trim and then just where the pearl trim trim met in the corners i wasn't 100 percent happy with the how they joined up i don't know why it just bothered me so i just put a little uh, a little florette of lace there and uh tiny little pearl and um, these are little die cuts a uh, flourish die cut that, and I've cut them out of the craft card the same that I've used on the back and then I've just glued them on before I put my image on 
and then I just stuck her at an angle because it looked I thought it looked cute. And then I've actually edged it with rusty hinge, and um, because I thought the orangey colour went well with these peachy flowers, and it looks quite nice. And then obviously there's this orangey on that one. I'm knocking them all over here. They're all going to be falling to bits. So that's the clip anyway. Um, for that one. And then the second tag that I've done to go with this for my set of two is kind of a tag straw wallet. And what I've done is I've made this little... Oh, my peg's the wrong way around. I did this peg. The whole tag's the wrong way around. It goes that way. Then I've got this little peg to keep it closed and it's got a little bronze key charm. I've embossed it and then gone over it with vintage photo and I've put some braid around the bottom. And what I've done is, it's actually a little wallet and inside I have sent my swap partner two little laminated images for her to use. So it's kind of a bit of a tag stroke gift wallet I suppose. Now I've made that out of um, one of my famous scrimpy ideas. It's an envelope. A large brown envelope. Um, sealed it at the top, folded it over and then I ran it through an embossing fold. Folded it in half, ran it through an embossing fold. I fancied it up a bit by putting some braid over and put some little images in there for her to use if she so desires. And then I just put my little peg on. So those are the two tags that go in this binder clip. I find them quite cumbersome to work with. I've enjoyed decorating them, but it's difficult and it keeps falling, it does keep falling over. So um when she gets them, I don't know if she'll see this video, I don't even know if she's subbed to me to be honest. Um so when she gets them, she will have to uh, there that's standing up probably farce about with it for a bit to get them so that they stand up if that's how she wants them so that's the first one shabby chic not vintage this one's vintage that I've just chucked on the floor I have shown um, some of these on Facebook um, but not all of them and then I did this one this is vintage see see the difference that's vintage and that's shabby chic. There is a big difference between them, although the images are similar. It's just because I like you. I do like using vintage images. So again, I've decorated it. I've used the um, this paper is like embossed glittery butterflies, and it comes from that paper range. Is it? I keep wanting to say Sorrento, but that's a place in Italy. <laughs> I don't know, you know the one with the whimsical girl on, that really nice one, that's where that's come from. And then I put a little uh, Eiffel Tower there, because I've got Eiffel Tower um, embossing there. And then I've tied like um, a vintage colour, dark green uh, organza ribbon, and just put a tiny little bling in the middle. And then I've used some of these really, really tiny... What's that? That shouldn't be there. That bit shouldn't be there. That's fine enough to my <laughs> These are the little teeny weeny weeny rosebuds from Wild Orchid Crafts that I ordered in error. I don't know what I was thinking when I ordered them. They're absolutely minute. And I, I'll use them, but I don't think I'd order them again. And then just another flower there. And then on the back, I put a metal butterfly. That's the paper that I've used to cover there. I've just put... A cut out of it onto there just to fancy that up and it is glittery it's nice so a metal butterfly bit of bling trim and another flower um so this one i've used this that paper again i cut the frame out so that's the inside of the frame because i don't like to waste anything stuck another vintage image on i um I've, this is one of the few um dies that I've got and these are one of the few I've got like three embossing folders and like five dies that's it so I just utilize what I've got and I use them in different ways I do use them repetitively but that's what that's all I've got um so yeah 
So I made her a frame, just using the smaller size die, the same as the tag. And then I fussy cut one of the butterflies out and stuck it on the corner. Um, and then because they're laminated, you see, I, I didn't need to mud podge it or anything. She's just glued on. So that's that one. And then I did this tag here. Uh, again, I've just embossed it with one of my three embossing folders that I really like. It's a Tim Holtz one. And then I've gone over it with Vintage Photo and I've gone over it with stickles as well on the raised parts to make it stand out even more. And then these little butterflies. Um, have I cut them out? Or I think I've had these gifted, the little tiny die cuts. And again, I've run them through an embossing folder. But this is just a one that has like French writing. And then I went over them. I think, is that Rusty Hinge? I think it's Rusty Hinge again. It's it's a different, this is vintage photo. I think this is Rusty Hinge. And then I've just put gold stickles on and a line of gold stickles on the on the body and some more of the dark green organza ribbon. So those are the two tags to go with this one. Okay, and then I did a fairy, a fairy one. And this is what I did. Um, I've shown some parts of this on Facebook, but it wasn't completed. Um, so what I've done is I have used some nice pink gala paper and it's glittery on there and then I decided to use one of my vintage images inspired my, by my friend Betsy Doodle and I made a little tiny button fairer and she's got a crystal on her tail there little tiny button fairer and um, some die cut wings out of just pink card and I just put um I don't think it's stickles I think it's some sort of glitter glue because it was really I wanted it really sparkly Oops, so I put I did put some wings, some wings on. So there you go. And then on the back, I'm just going to take these. I do find them cumbersome, these. They're a bit of a pain. I just had to put some paper around that clip to make sure that she stayed on. Because obviously you've not got a lot of surface area there to glue anything. It's quite difficult. And then I just put a little flower on the back. So that's the button fairer. And then I made these tags. This is like some pearlescent cardstock that I got from um, Every Crafts a Pound. Again, I've used my die cut uh, tag shape that I've got. And I used these fairy images that were on an out-of-date calendar that Betsy Doodle actually sent for Alexi off to craft with. And I pinched them. She doesn't mind. She knows. I've told her. But I nearly got into trouble, but... So again, I made another frame out just using different size die cuts. The, the inside of that is on the back again, so I don't, didn't waste it. I've just put some ink on the edges. It's vintage, not vintage photo, Victorian velvet, which is a lovely colour. Really rich, love it. And um, then I stuck some little butterflies on the corner that I had gifted. And just a little collection of flowers. These were just in a bag and they were just odd ones. You know, you end up, don't you, where you've got a few that you've already cut off but then they're odd because you've run out of that particular one. So this is just using them up. Um, I've, so I've used them up. So I, each one of these flowers, I have no more of those now. I've just used them up on there. And then on this one, again, this is another fairy. The garden fairies. Excuse me, and I, I put some lace down the side there. And this is some of the um, little sparkly spray that um, Becky from Aunt Bee's Creations sent me. That's from Michaels. I just I really wanted to use some, and I've got quite a lot, so I thought I'd spare some, <laughs> even though I want to hard it forever and ever and have it in my coffin. Um. So yeah. So. I put the so I put the lace trim down there because I thought otherwise this um like twig type um ornament wouldn't stick straight to the card but I thought it might stick better on fabric. I know what I'm on about. I'm gonna have to go anyway because I'm nearly running out of minutes. And I put this flower here and this butterfly here and tied some ribbon. Um right, I'm gonna have to rush because I'm nearly at 15 minutes. Thanks for watching, bye for now.